If you Google dogs and babies, you will find the cutest pictures and videos of dogs cuddling and playing with babies. If you search dogs and babies on YouTube, you will see the most adorable videos that you've ever watched. But these adorable images raise a question. Why are dogs so gentle with babies? Dogs will often protect babies due to the bond they have developed with the family. The bond that exists between canines and humans is unmistakable. There's a reason dogs are called man's best friend, after all. They're adaptable creatures that bond with their human counterparts. And that includes babies. All dogs have a mating drive and den instincts. It's part of what's called their pack drive. When a dog has a strong pack drive and is tightly bonded with his family, it's only natural that he becomes protective of a new baby when he or she arrives. One of the most significant benefits is that dogs make babies happy. It's also been proven that interacting with dogs raises levels of serotonin and dopamine, the chemical building blocks of positive feelings. They're also just fun to be around. Dogs have feelings too, which enable them to pick up on different cues and subtleties. For example, they can sense that a baby is vulnerable and harmless. You might see a dog sniff or lick a baby's face or rear end. Don't let this behavior scare you, as it's their way of checking the baby's health. These are things a mother dog does with her pups. In 2013, a research in Atlanta's university set out to discover what actually happens in a dog's brain when they see their human. And the results are incredible. They could determine that when the dogs see one's member of their family, it triggers the oxytocin hormone, better known as the love hormone. In other words, our dog loves us. Dogs with their 200 million olfactory cells are extremely sensitive to scents. They can even smell if someone has cancer, according to recent research. If they can sniff out cancer, they can tell that an infant smells different than an adult. When a dog joins a family, the family becomes their pack, and the youngest members of the family need the most protection, and losing a member of the pack would cause them to feel sad. It is in the dog's self-interest to be gentle with a baby. Some things you might see a dog do with a baby are things they will see a mother dog do. For example, if you see your dog lick your baby's face or sniff it, the dog's checking to make sure the baby is okay. Because dogs affect us and our oxytocin levels much the same as human babies do, the bond we have with our dogs can feel like the bond between mothers and children. The mechanism behind the connection is the same. It can be pretty adorable to see a dog pup snarling at any human who dares to reach a hand toward a baby like the world's fluffiest little bodyguard. Dogs are protective or territorial by nature based on genetics and breed. A German shepherd has guarding instincts and an Australian shepherd has herding instincts. Both of these can translate to protectiveness of family. Another reason lots of pups are into babies? Because, newsflash, dogs crave attention. And guess who else are total attention fiends? Freaking babies. For the most part, though, the puppy-baby combo is a pretty big win. Business Insider recently reported on a study that shows how pawling around with a dog gives humans a solid hit of dopamine. Dopamine plays a role in how we feel pleasure. It's a big part of our unique human ability to think and plan. And according to Science Daily, dogs can even boost a child's immune system. While many people put a lot of stress on breed-specific behaviors, every dog is an individual. Some will be naturally more protective than others. The differences in breed behavior has led to some calling certain breeds nanny dogs. For example, Animal Planet recommends this dog breed for babies. Golden Retriever, Beagle, Collie, Bulldog, Newfoundland, Poodle, Labrador Retriever, and Australian Shepherd. While there is some truth to this trait, we also need to be careful. All dogs are individuals, and breed will only play one part in their behavior and temperament. For this reason, dogs seem to recognize babies as babies. This means they see them as vulnerable and in need of protection. When out in the park, or when a stranger comes in the home, the dog may feel the need to protect the baby if they perceive someone or something as a danger. We often see dogs sleeping next to babies and children because they not only feel protective, but loving towards them. Some people think that their dogs have ESP, that they know what you're feeling and thinking, but they're acute observers of our body language. You know? or happy or anxious, 
they're reading all that all the time because that's how they communicate with each other too.